In six years of note taking on my iPad, I have learned one thing, that the biggest lie is that it's the right app that will make you a note taking master. It won't. The truth is to make your notes go from something like this all the way through to something like this, you need more than an app, you need a system. And I've developed a system that I'm gonna share with you in today's video, a three-stage system that will create peak iPad organization and will achieve professional grade note taking to help create action from them. And I'm gonna share the secret unlocks that only the iPad can do. So team, I'm Tom. Welcome to Future Simplified. Let's get into it. Okay, so first we are gonna fix where your notes live because without a backbone, your notes don't become knowledge. They just become digital clutter. You will never find the note you need. So here's the structure that I use and it works in GoodNotes, it works in Notability or Apple Notes, it works in Craft, it works anywhere. Firstly is the inbox. This is your drop zone. Quick captures, brainstorms, imported files. Dump it all in here, then review it once a week. Personally, I used to waste far too much time trying to find where I was gonna put my note while I, before I even started writing it. And by that time, I'd missed half the information that I needed. The second is projects. Now, this is gonna be different based on what your world looks like. Maybe you're a student, depending what type of job you have. And for the things that will never stop happening in your career or life, for better or for worse, we need a section for that. And so the third one is areas. Now, within areas, you may break that down for specific ongoing tasks that will never finish. And that for me is things like my personal development. I've got all my one-to-one -one notes in here and I have a sub note for every single person I meet that's dated and signed. More on that in a bit of how we structure these notes. And I've also got a log for ongoing industry notes and news that I like to keep on top of. And I have a log of that all in this one place. So anything annotated in PDF. And again, it doesn't matter what app you use. You can do all of this in any app. And the last one is archive, because if you want to just declutter some of these sections, you can just pull them out, complete them, and just chuck them into archive. It cleans the rest up, but they still remain searchable. It will eliminate the question, oh, where shall I, where shall I put this? Well, now you have a place for it. Okay, so now your backbone's done, and now every note has a place to live. Let's talk about how you're actually gonna structure them so they're actually helpful and not complete mess. It is five easy sections that you can remember that will turn any note into action. I call this the clear page methodology. Now this is a universal methodology for any note taking. You could use this on your paper note because it's super simple and you can pick and choose the things that really work for you. But trust me, if you use all of it, you'll experience a whole new level of organization. So C stands for context, date, meetings, topics, who's in the room, L, learnings, key insights, quotes, data points. For me, the learnings is the most important. That's where you just capture absolutely everything you need in here, be that images, documents, whatever. Oh, hey, thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe. Love to see you next time. E is for extracts. Are oh, there clear diagrams or sketches or screenshots that will help you remember what this information is. Make sure that those are captured. That's the beauty of doing this digitally. Like, do not do that. A is actions. I like to create a little section where I capture the key actions. So I create a box wherever I am in any application, and I have two things in there. Questions that I want to ask and actions that I need to take. So if ever I need to come back to a note and work out what I had to do, I've got it saved. And something that you don't need to do that I found very powerful is reflect. This is a one sentence takeaway from that whole note that you want to pull out. That might be something like, what did I learn today? Or what could have gone better in this meeting? So with this, now let's talk about the iPad only tricks that will make this whole system Ethics. Now, the first one for me has been a game changer for somebody that loves doing all of their work on an iPad. It is enable more space in the display settings. This gives you more screen aesthetic. This gives you more screen. This gives you more screen real estate, note taking and doing things like multitasking. The second is split view multitasking. Notes on one side, Zoom, Safari, a video about topic on the other. 
This allows that you can research meetings and notes while still absorbing that content at the same time without ever having to divert your attention, which creates a far more seamless note-taking system. Set up quick notes on your iPad. It means that your Apple Pencil can quickly capture and take a note, especially if you have the next thing set up, which is leveraging tags and smart folders. My personal advice for tags to smart folders is to use very simple tags, things that will always be useful to you. Smart folders will collect them automatically or if you have a simple tagging system, you can search for those tags and everything you've ever written relating to them can show up. Something that not a lot of people know is actually possible is that even if you're handwriting with say an Apple Pencil, you can still search for that handwritten note. So make sure that it's clear, legible, and you'll always be able to find something no matter if it's typed or not. And finally, the inbuilt magic wand that is created thanks to Apple Intelligence will allow you to turn anything that you've written or drawn and create a beautiful AI version of that image, which is gonna really help with your cognitive mindset when you try and remember what the hell it was you were writing down. So these features, they just strip away friction. They make things so much easier. But in case you hadn't noticed, the iPad can do a lot more than just note-taking. So if you're interested to see how I use my iPad for literally everything, I don't even use a personal computer anymore, check out this video.